Can we please get some videos on your thought and opinion of Paul's words? Absolutely. And maybe I should start doing a lot more videos on Paul. I tend to not do much on Paul because 99% of the focus in Christianity is on Paul's writings. When it should be on the whole Bible, but it's not. So I try to counteract that. I'm not against Paul's writings, but I think the majority of Christians, people in general, should not read Paul's writings until they've read the rest of the Bible. I think they should leave it to the absolute last. Why? Because the Bible warns you about Paul's writings. They can be dangerous as hell. Seriously. The Bible says people twist them to their own destruction. Their own destruction. We're talking about eternal destruction because people misunderstand Paul's writings. That's nothing to mess around with. Almost every single person I've ever talked to about this or listened to on TikTok or listened to elsewhere who's quoting Paul or preaching from Paul or, or teaching from Paul is misappropriating Paul, misunderstanding Paul, misteaching Paul. It is terrifying. It's terrifying. And I think it is absolutely a test from God on churchianity. A absolutely. God says, I just did a video, I just posted it, on how God sends false prophets and teachers into his people's lives to test them. And these people, nowadays, a lot of them, are using Paul's writings to literally go against everything else in the rest of the Bible, all other 39 writers in the Bible. And they got Paul preaching out of both sides of his mouth. For instance, Romans 3.31, Paul's words. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish the law. But every Tom, Dick, and Harry that's out there preaching Paul says that Paul preaches that the law was done away with, that it was nailed to the cross. Perfect example. Matthew 5, Jesus says, don't even think. Don't even let it into your mind that the possibility that I came to abolish the law. Don't even think it. And yet people will quote Paul in Ephesians chapter 2, saying, having abolished in his flesh the enmity that is the law of commandments contained in ordinances. See? Jesus Christ abolished the law. You see? They make Paul call Jesus a liar, and they make you choose. Well, what do we do? And they confuse the hell out of people. And they don't interpret it in context of what it's actually talking about. It's not talking about the law of God, the law of Moses that Jesus was talking about. You see what I mean? They'll say that Paul says, we're no, we're no longer under the law. And anyone who tries to obey any part of the law has fallen from grace and they're damned. That's exactly what they say. But what does Paul actually say? Galatians 5, 4. You have become estranged from Christ, you who attempt to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. Well, attempting to be justified by the law is a big difference than obeying God's law out of love because it's the standard of sin. If it's a sin to obey the law, then Paul was a sinner and fallen from grace in Acts chapter 21, where it says that he himself, you yourself, walked orderly and keep the law. It's talking about Paul here. Remember, talking about Paul here, 
says, but they have been informed about you, Paul, that you teach all the Jews who are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, saying they ought not to circumcise their children, nor walk according to the customs of Moses. And yet the very passage says none of that's true. Paul didn't teach against the law, and he walks orderly keeping the law. But these are the same lies that are being told in the church today, and it's two people's own destruction. It's literally damning people's souls. Here's Paul's own testimony. More of the lies, nor the things that they cannot, they can't prove the things of which they accuse him. The same thing, teaching against Moses. So but Paul says this, But this I confess to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, so I worship the God of my fathers, believing all things that are written in the law and in the prophets. If Paul believed all things that are written in the law and prophets, then he believes all of the passages, like Deuteronomy 13, that says if anybody comes and preaches to you that you are to live contrary to the laws of Moses, that you're to not obey the laws of Moses, they are to be regarded as a false prophet and they are to be killed. So if Paul believes that, and out of his own mouth he does, and lives it, then why are people preaching that Paul taught everybody to forsake Moses and to live contrary to it? It's ridiculous. I tell you, these pastors are unfit to preach the word of God. And the reason is, is really sad. It's the reason that my channel exists and my podcast exists and soon my YouTube will exist because I've seen it. These people go to seminary. I've seen it in three different seminaries. They go to seminary and they're programmed. And nobody's questioning what they're being, what they're inheriting, what they're being programmed. They get stamped out like cookie cutters and they go out and they parrot the same thing that they were taught without testing it. And it happens generation after generation after generation. Because I can tell you from personal experience, in two of the seminaries that I went to, you don't question them. Because I've made this mistake many times. You get shut down right now. You do not question the systematic theology that is handed to you. You don't do it. Well, I'm sorry, this is higher learning facility. Isn't this where you're supposed to teach us how to test scripture and how to evaluate truth and how to make sure that we are teaching the truth? Mm. Yes, it's supposed to, but it doesn't happen. And so consequently, you have thousands and thousands of pastors basically coming off an assembly line teaching this garbage about Paul, spreading these heresies. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. So yeah, what are my opinions of Paul? Hey, I'm not against Paul. I'm for Paul. But his writings can literally be the difference between heaven and hell. He did not preach a different gospel than Jesus preached. That's clear. The Bible says the gospel has never changed. But in two of the seminaries I went to, they preached, they taught. They taught us that Paul preached a different gospel than Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. But you know what they didn't teach us? That Paul preached and taught seven different laws. So when he refers to law, it's not always the law of God. It could be the law of Christ. It could be the law of sin and death. It could be the law of God. It could be the law of righteousness. It could be the law of the spirit of life in Christ. These are different laws. Pastors don't know that. People don't know that. Why? Because they don't teach the first half of the Bible in seminary and they don't preach it in churches. You can't understand a book if you've never read the first half. So I think it's dangerous to be going through Paul. But I will still make videos on it and try to do it properly.